This video is rated G for all audiences. Good day guys and welcome back to Ozstar. In today's video we're going to be doing a bit of a review sort of thing with the brand new Foxtel IQ4 remote with Netflix. So we're going to show you how it works. First of all we'll just show you how um, the remote close up and then we'll show you what happens with the four new buttons on the remote and how that all works on the TV. So first of all you're probably wondering how do we connect it. So it's actually really simple. If you've got the brand new software, well I did it on the brand new software, I'm not too sure what happens if you have it on the old software, but I've got a new IQ4 today. Basically all I did is plugged in the remote and as soon as um, I plugged it in and got power, it connected immediately. I didn't have to hit any buttons, so it connects immediately to Bluetooth. So you don't have to do anything like that at all. So it just connects immediately and we'll just show you there's actually no Bluetooth button to um, reset it or anything like that on the remote. So let's just see if we pull the back off. There is nothing like that. No button, no nothing. All it says is Bluetooth. Uh, but that's it. There's no button behind here. So you can't push that at all. So yeah, this remote is fully Bluetooth. And it's really cool because you don't have to hit the red button, then hold down select and stuff like that. You don't have to do any of that. You just plug the batteries in and it connects immediately. And uh, now the only thing you would maybe have to do if it didn't connect, which I'm, I haven't actually gone this far with I haven't unconnected it and then reconnected it but the only thing you may have to do is hold down the Bluetooth button but as soon as you power this up and um, your IQ falls on it connects immediately you don't have to hit anything so if it ever lost connection if you just went near it and hit a button it should automatically connect you shouldn't have to hit any button at all so that's everything right there so now what we're going to do is that now we'll show you actually the button so these are the buttons that you get on the Foxtel IQ4 with the Netflix button so obviously it lights up, so you get the Foxtel logo, it lights up, the voice control and the home. Now, a lot of people were wondering, did they get rid of the Foxtel button? And they didn't. You can actually click this in. So that's pretty cool right there. Also, you got your mic. So when you hit the mic, it goes immediately to search. And then you got your home, which goes to your home page on demand. And that's everything right there. So they're the main buttons that light up. And basically everything here is the same. You've got your number pad and then you've got the four new buttons, which is obviously your TV shows, your Netflix, your movies, and sport. And we're going to show you what all those buttons do. So now what we're going to do is head over to the TV and show you just what to do. So first we'll pause the program. And now we'll just lift this up. Hopefully you can see the TV all right. Okay. So that's the TV right there. Now let's um, head over to the remote. So first of all, what we're going to do, oh, I don't know how well you can see this. Okay, so we're going to hit the TV shows, which is this one right here. And as you see, that opens TV show. Well, I actually clicked on movies. So that's opening movies. So that's basically what that is, does. So as you see, it's going to open movies. So if we click on the... Sorry about the lighting. On the camera, it looks like there's no light. Okay, click the Foxtel button. And then if we go to the voice button, basically that navigates us over to search, which this is really reliable. I haven't had, any, I've been testing it out pretty much the half the day now, and I haven't had any issues with it. So I'm glad I did the test before I made a video. It does work pretty good. So that's what the voice button does. And it does say coming soon every time you click on it. So you can't actually ask it a command at the moment. To get back out, click on the home. As no one has the fox top button out here. Now, if we click on the home button, that will open our home page. Now, from here, this will show us suggested programming. Down here, you've got most popular drama, and basically all that sort of stuff will pop up uh, down under home. We hit the Foxtel button, and now if we navigate over to TV shows, what I didn't hit before, so TV shows will open up your TV shows area. So if you're just wanting to binge TV shows, click on the orange TV shows button. Again, we'll hit home. I don't know why I keep calling it home. It's the Foxtel button. Um, now what we're going to hit is we'll show you. We did movies before. We'll show you sport. And that opens here. Got all your live channels as well. So that gives you a bit of an idea of what these buttons actually navigate you to. Hit the Foxtel button. Now let's open the best part of everything, our Netflix button. And that will launch Netflix immediately. And it's really fast. You didn't even see the Netflix load. Uh, and then we can just click on my name, obviously. Just trying to, so you can see the remote. Where this light is, it's really bad because you can't see what I'm pressing. Okay, so we're in. 
and I've just opened that by accident okay so yeah we're in Netflix right here so that's very simple and if you want to quickly get out of Netflix hit the Foxtel button and you're out now another cool thing that a lot of people don't realize that you can do sometimes when you get out of the fo the apps by hitting the Foxtel button it will actually resume of what you were last looking at now let's go see if that's true it did it the other day but we'll see if it does it now okay it does so this is exactly where I was so sometimes it will do that so if you just say we click on the 70 show So sometimes when you do this, it takes a little bit for it to load up. It won't take long. Okay. So now what we're going to do is click on Foxtel. And then um, open that back up by hitting the Netflix button. It remembers exactly where I was. So that's one great thing if you've... You know there's a program on a live event and you want to just get back to it as soon as possible. Just hit the Foxtel button and it will remember what you were last looking at, which is pretty cool. And that's basically everything with the review with the remote that I wanted to really show you. Um, if you found it helpful, let us know down below. And I'm hoping you liked today's video of the remote. If you want any other videos on it, let us know down below. And that's going to be it in today's video. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching Ozstar. If you liked today's video, think about subscribing. Or you can hit the bell notification and thumbs up today's video. Thanks again for watching Ozstar, and we'll catch you guys next week.